All right, so you're at the point where you've been texting with her and she just completely stopped. She completely stopped. So what's wrong? Does she suck? Is she a bitch? Is she the worst person in the world? No, no. Because here in the TripAdvice community, we do not play victim. Victim is for losers and you are not a loser. You are a guy who's going to take ownership over what's going on and not blame others. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna figure out where it could have gone wrong. Most of the time you might not know where, but at least you're gonna be in this situation where she's completely stopped and we're just gonna say, you know what? Sucks for her. Now let's bring it back to you. Like I said, we're not gonna play victim, okay? So we're gonna bring it back to you. And the fact that you're upset, you're pissed off, she stopped texting, like now what am I supposed to do? Well, first of all, the quick answer is, is nothing, okay? You don't text her back. You're not gonna try to get a hold of her. She's done. If you sent a text message with a fairly obvious question or something to get a response and she hasn't responded to you, it's done, it's over. But what's most important for this and what you need to do next is learn the lesson of abundance and scarcity, okay? So the reason why you're watching this video is probably because you are not in abundance. So what does that mean? If you were dating a lot of women, you wouldn't care. Let me say this again. If you were dating a lot of women, you wouldn't care if she stopped texting. I don't mean you're playing this abundance mentality game in your head. I literally mean you are talking to multiple women, but not just texting, going on dates with these women, and you are having a good time with all these women. So if one drops off, you don't care, okay? So she stops texting, her loss, we're not gonna play victim, but it's her loss, and that's it. She's gone, and you don't have to care because you are dating other women. Along with this is the idea of, and this is something I've been talking about a lot recently in this channel, is having a life, right? Simply put, having a life. The fact that you care means that you don't have other things going on for you, generally speaking, right? If you're busy, with your friends, your hobbies, your career, your health, becoming a better version of yourself, reading, learning, doing things that will accomplish goals, you're not gonna care because you're busy. So it's about having an abundance of things going on in your life as well as an abundance of women. And then when someone drops off, to repeat myself, you're not gonna care. And if you do care, this is just a sign that you're moving too slow, okay? That means that you are just going from one woman to the next woman to the next woman and you're going piece by piece by piece. I remember I was uh, in college and I had a friend and I just remember this. He said to me, I'm a one woman kind of guy, meaning I just don't date lots of women. And to me, that was a big excuse. I was thinking, huh, that seems strange. Like, why are you just going from one woman to one woman? Why is it so bad to date multiple women? It's not like you're cheating or necessarily lying or even necessarily sleeping with all of them. You don't even know what's going on. But if you're going from one woman to the next woman to the next woman, you're moving too slow. And I don't want that for you because the slower you move, the longer it's gonna take for you to find a good girl, the longer it's gonna take for you to build the skills of understanding how attraction works and being a charismatic guy and just better with women in general, it's gonna take you too long. So you don't wanna be going from one woman to the next. So again, I'm saying this because I bet you that if you care too much, if one fell off, you're not in abundance and you're moving too slow. So what do you do now? What's next? You move on and you only go for women and continue to talk to women who have a high level of interest. So one of the filters that you're gonna to wanna to have is the high level of interest filter. I know, fancy name. Which means that you're only gonna be talking to girls and dealing with girls and interested in girls who have a high level of interest in you. So if they're not responsive or they're not interested in meeting up with you or they're not interested in moving forward with being intimate and having sex with you, if none of those things are happening, She's showing a low level of interest. She's showing either friendship interest, which we don't have time for, or she's showing no interest at all because she's not being responsive. 
So you have to understand that the women that you are going to be allowing into your life are the ones that have a high level of interest. Of course, if you are having trouble with getting to the point where you're dating multiple women who have high level of interest, well, that's what the channel or the videos on this channel are for. That's what my program Hooked is for. That's in the description, by the way, per usual. So you can learn how to get high level of interest. But that's the game, learning how to get them interested. And if they're not interested, bye-bye. They're gone. They're out of your life, gone forever. You move on. Sucks for them. Remember, sucks for them. And also, we're not playing victim. So we're not going to sit here being like, oh, woe is me. I'm the worst. I suck. And women suck and everything sucks. Obviously, that's going to get you nowhere. So let's garner some strength here and move on. Don't try to get the next text message or the thing that's going to get her to respond to you. Because if she's not responding now, she's not interested. And we're only looking for women that are. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video.